Hey guys, what's up? I'm Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. Sorry my voice is a little bit sore. And uh, I'm in Zagreb, Croatia. The reason I'm over here is I'm visiting a friend actually that I met uh, on uh, an art site like 10 years ago. And we, did, we ended up being friends and I came over and I'm here to visit. But um, since I'm in another country, uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to do the uh, you know, out and about video right here. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. Uh, I'm going to go over this really quick. I want to tell you the two things I'm going to cover within this video. I'm going to try to cut this up, you know, not bore you too bad. Uh, for the most part, I took a trip. And I want to go over the trip itself, and I want to go over the out and aboutness, you know, the uh, drawing people from the public. I drew about four people. Uh, I knew I had to do it because I was in another country, right? I'm on the other side of the earth. I wanted to do this, you know what I mean? So let me tell you really quick of why I went over there. And I kind of covered it a little bit in the, you know, the pre-intro there. So I made a friend on uh, an art site a long time ago, uh, roughly about 12, 13 years ago, actually. And uh, what ended up happening was we kept touch, you know, through Facebook, through all that kind of stuff, through social media. And uh, I think MySpace was just ending and Facebook was just starting. So what ended up happening was I would uh, we would keep in touch. It's essentially a long distance uh, online pen pal. Uh, I saw her when she met her future husband, uh, when they started dating, you know, uh, I was through college, through all these uh, all sorts of ordeals, and uh, eventually uh, it came to the point where I'm like, hey, you know, I should really visit this person. I've been pen pals for them so long, and I like traveling, and I want to see new places. Why not see Zagreb, Croatia, uh, you know, the capital of Croatia, you know, Croatia, they've you know, film things like Game of Thrones, uh, there in that area, uh, you know, I've heard a lot about it, seemed like a cool country, I thought, okay, boom, I'm gonna go, and my friend said that, hey, you gotta visit now, because, you know, her and her husband are gonna have kids, uh, husband named Doobie, uh, her and her husband are gonna have kids soon, so she really needs me to visit, you know, now, so I can actually hang out with those guys, and actually, you know, experience a the city, they can show me around, without the time consumingness of kids, went, Went for about two weeks, had an amazing time. This is essentially my journey. So let me preface this by saying that I'm going to sound like a really dumb tourist through this video uh, because I just don't know the place. You know, I'm just going to give my impressions of the place, things I heard from my friends, from other people. For example, I got this cool chocolate egg that seems to be banned in the U.S. for some reason. The reason it's banned is because it has a small plastic toy in the center. And it's actually not that small. It's actually kind of an in a larger egg. I honestly can't see anybody really choking on this unless you kind of, I don't know, take it all in one bite. I also got Boric, which is kind of like a really cool little dish over there. I think it's originally Bulgarian. I'm not totally sure. I could just Google it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that there's hedgehogs in the back area of my guest house. Uh, you know, I didn't meet a ton of people there. I did meet a good amount of people there, and so I got, you know, a good idea of the feeling. Plus, this is the capital, right? In the middle of nowhere, Croatia. It's the middle of, you know, it's a capital. It's a big city. So my first impression was that, for the most part, it's a, you know, awesome city. It's, you know, got tons of bread, bread everywhere, bread, 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 nonstop bread. I ate that every day. Konzums, you know, which is essentially a giant Walmart, you know, slash, I don't know, 7-Eleven. The other thing about it is that I honestly didn't learn almost a single word of the language of Croatian. I learned Bok. That's pretty much it, which is high, uh, and that's kind of all. There was too many impronounceable words. For some reason, I had my friends there at all times. Uh, most people below the age of 40 spoke pretty good English, you know, so I didn't really need to learn uh, the other language very much at all. So this guy was actually right next to the bus stop. It was just some kid waiting. I'm assuming he's like, I don't know, early high school. Um, the thing about him is that he had kind of like these long, freaky, weird looking legs, you know what I mean, when he was sitting down, so I just thought he was kind of a good subject to, to draw. The other reason is that he just wasn't looking at me, so I, I sneaked this quick, this really quick picture of him, and as I drew him, I was just trying to get his general type, you know what I mean, these are fast drawings, these isn't like, uh, I'm not gonna have all day, it was a bus stop too, so I knew he was gonna get up and leave. Uh, so that's kind of pretty much the process I did here was just kind of get the general contour and then from there kind of go into the details inside you know I started with the outside in kind of 
and I was actually sticking with line on this one. I put very little shading, if any. So the area of the city I stayed in, uh, I cannot pronounce, but I can put it on the screen right now. I'm going to put it right now on the screen. I'm going to talk about the few places that I went to, and then I'm going to talk about uh, kind of where I drew people. So just a quick run through the things I saw. I saw the awesome freaking zoo. The thing I noticed about the Zagreb Zoo is the zoo was pretty much like a tiny version of the San Diego Zoo. San Diego Zoo is huge, you know, it's like massive, it's like worldwide, whatever, world famous. This one was pretty close though, I would say. Like not totally close in size, but in terms of the animals they had, they had a pretty good collection. And it, they had get creative with their setups, you know, like this, the homo, uh, the homo sapien, you know, thing that you can kind of get in and take a picture. I think that was a great, cool idea. Whoever designed it, it's like, oh, that's a great little, you know, add-on. I saw a real-life European castle. This is a real European castle. We have to drive about an hour out. Uh, I cannot pronounce the names of any cities or the castle itself, uh, but all that stuff's gonna be written on the screen. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite things to look at because I've never seen a real castle in general, uh, especially a European one. You know, all these kind of lore and the, these movies and things like that are based on things like this. And uh, just kind of walking through it was great. And just see, you know, just kind of absorbing and like really feeling this kind of like old history, you know, it's just. So this older guy was sitting outside of a bookstore. It was uh, kind of in the middle of the square area, a little bit by the train station, and or train station, trolley station. And um, it was, you know, it was, it was good, because I like drawing old people because they don't know any better. They, they're just kind of wandering around. They don't, uh, they, they tend not to be as suspicious as younger people, you know, of you looking at them like while you're drawing. So I drew him from the side profile. Uh, the thing I love about old people is that, especially their profile, is there's so much good information in there and it's such a fun drawing you know what I mean and I was just kind of capturing just kind of like the small character things there's way more character in an older face for sure you know what I mean and that's not just being you know full of it I'm, I'm totally serious it's it's fun to draw amazingly uh, fun to draw um, so I spent a little bit on this I didn't spend a whole lot of time but I think it went pretty well for a sketch and uh, you know You can also, I also saw the uh, Museum of Broken Relationships, which was essentially a collection of different items that people kind of saved up and, you know, had sad stories to. I'm assuming it's real. The only problem I had with that museum was that it was pretty freaking new items. I thought it was going to be a lot of items from, you know, I don't know, two centuries ago, something like that. But this stuff was like stuff they picked up at a yard sale. Uh, so that was kind of a disappointing thing, but it's cool that I went. There's also uh, the cemetery, and that cemetery is probably one of the biggest, craziest cemeteries I've ever seen, and it makes me want to be, you know, rich, essentially, so I can have these giant, amazing gravestones uh, that some of these guys had, but that was a really spooky place at night, and I loved it. This woman was actually sitting in a mall that I was walking around in. It's a mall in the center of Zagreb. I forget what the name of the mall was, but I was walking around it, and I thought for sure this was a young girl, honestly. I thought the girl was like a, maybe like, I don't know, like early 20s girl. But when she turns around, she's like this older lady. She's gotta be like in her late 40s, maybe late early 50s. Uh, you know, I guess makeup and sun care and you know, all that stuff combined really, you know, Makes something look good. I think it's also the makeup, like I said, really, it's it's pretty much a makeup thing. And it's also, I noticed the, the young and the old people dress pretty close. She dresses like a young person, you know? She doesn't dress like the old lady outfits, she dresses like totally like a young person. I had no idea. So I drew her there, and, and that was a little bit hard because she was moving around. It was a little bit kind of an ordeal, but I ultimately got, I got a decent, like I said, sketch mostly of just her sitting there on this bench. Jungle. I saw a Neanderthal museum because Croatia apparently has one of the richest kind of uh, Neanderthal uh, bone collection like in the world. This uh, Neanderthal museum was great. Uh, I had a great setup. I had one of a really extensive collection and I 
just loved every minute of it. And a lot of it, the thing I really like about these setups is the creativity they put into how they set it up and try to make it as entertaining as they can without making like little kids bored and things like that. So that was really awesome. I saw the archaeological museum, which is freaking awesome. I saw basically a museum full of rocks and taxidermy, which I think is amazing for animal reference. And honestly, I could go there every day if they had it over here in San Diego. I know they have little things like this, but this is a crazy extensive collection of like essentially dead animals. And you can see their anatomy, you can see their bones, you can see uh, them preserved in certain ways. I just thought it was amazing. This one was actually outside of a, um, like I was sitting in an ice cream store and I saw somebody sitting outside and I thought I'd draw them because they're not facing me. Like I said before, it's really hard to, for me anyway, to draw people that are facing me because they tend to always know I'm drawing them. I guess that you, you can just feel somebody's eyes when they're looking at you. Uh, some guys I know have no shame about that. They don't care and they actually show them the drawing after like, hey, I drew you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't like that. For some reason, I'm still a little bit embarrassed of that. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it looks, it could look creepy, so that's why I'm just kind of like, nah, you know, even though what I'm doing is not creepy at all, it's from my own practice, I just, I feel like, nah, I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to capture them from the side, you know, a lot of profiles, you know, a little bit from like behind, you know, uh, maybe three quarters, that's pretty possible, but I didn't get any today. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say was this girl, this girl uh, she was moving a lot. And what, what I normally do when I do these things is I get a fast, quick impression, you know, what is the quick impression of their pose? And I stick to that pose and I start pulling information uh, from it. For example, like if I'm drawing this and she is in a position that I, I draw her in and she moves, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stick to that position. But then I'm like, okay, what is the shape of her arm, the general shape of her arm, even though it's in a different position? And I'll try to put that down to the other pose, you know? The other thing about this one is that the data kind of corrupted on my, uh, you know, my card essentially, and so I could not get the rest of the drawing in. But I think you got a good idea right here of the, you know, the profile view that I drew. I also went to the Contemporary Museum of Art. I seem to go to one of these in every city. Uh, when the New York, I went to this one in San Diego, I think one in LA. Essentially, I go there, and I'm not gonna, and I'm gonna insult a lot of people right now. I go there to kind of laugh at it. The art is so ridiculous and so goofy and makes no sense and has almost no meaning for most of it, uh, that it, we go there essentially to talk smack the whole time. There's also the Museum of Illusions, and this is really cool. And that one's a pretty new museum too. It's like super new. It opened like a month ago. There's a few different rooms. Uh, gives you this optical illusion, for example, right here in this photo. And I know they have a couple of things like this in San, uh, not San Diego, but they have a couple of things like this in the US, but uh, essentially there's a warped room and it makes you look like you are much bigger than the other person. It's, uh, it's really amazing. Uh, there's also a lot of cool little things in that museum, so I had a great time in that. Anyways, uh, I summed up most of the trip. I want to thank, uh, you know, Anna, Missy Cat, uh, Doobie, and, you know, all the other people I met. And I had a lot of different conversations, uh, you know, waiting at the bus. I, had a I met a lot of people. I didn't really hang out with them. I just met them, had good conversations, added them, a few of them to Facebook. So 
overall, it's an amazing, amazing trip, and I know I'm going to be back here. I just know it. You know what I mean? I was actually really sad the day before I left because I was like, wow, I, I, I really hope I can come back here one day and visit again and visit different parts of Croatia, different parts of Europe. Uh, I've only been across the ocean three times. It was to the UK, to Japan, and then to here. And by far, this is easily the place that I could see myself living in. Um, if anybody here is from Croatia, let me know in the comments and give, give me a shout out, say hi. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know where you want me to go. You want me to go to a mall, you want me to go to like a school. I want to go to different places, more of these out and about videos. But until then, uh, I'll see you later. But for more of these videos, for me to do more of these, I want to, you know, kind of, I need more money so I can produce it. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of time, effort, a lot of editing. Uh, you know, hit up my Patreon. Please donate if you haven't. Uh, if you can't, I understand completely, you know. It's, it is what it is, but thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you later.